Oh, we we got to sink. Oh yeah, that's um, right. I almost started without sinking. Uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Pun. How's it a pun? I said we. Um, I. D- <laughs> I took I I took offense to that. How is that a pun? Explain it to me. <laughs> I said I don't know that we weren't sinking, like you know, thinking. Oh. Oh. Oh, get it? Cause it's. <laughs> okay. Burgers. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations Two. My name is Skitty Minnie. And we and didn't sink stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name is Skitty Minnie. And I'm Pharaoh. Last episode, we um, talked to uh, Dogen, I think, the prisoner. Mm hmm. That guy. The blind and, assassin. Uh, the blind assassin. He's scary looking. And. <laughs> and funny shut looking. Up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Ah, Shut up, okay. Mina. Okay. <laughs> um, and so we went back to Horace's cell to investigate what you know what could be there, and we found out he was playing correspondent chess, probably with Dogen. Um, and uh, we found like he they wiped some spots or something on the floor. I get I I don't know. It didn't look like he wiped it up. It just looked like they just sweep swept it across or whatever. So. Um, now we are done with our investigation, and this is where we are. And go. Am I still doing Edward's voice? Yes, I think so. <clears throat> All right. So this is what our uh, this is what our investigation turned up. It seems we found a major connection between the victim and Dogen. Uh, oh, this is terrible! <laughs> Disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What happened? Huh. The security camera recorded something terrible! What? Can you let me see it? Of course, sir! I have portable playback device right here! So let me see it right away! Whoa! What? Wait, hold on, what's going on? Oh, my thing! My thing freaking froze! <laughs> oh, boy. I heard a- Um... Okay, let's see, I gotta watch- Ooh, look, there's actual video! Yeah, I was like, this is cool! What's going on? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm past that already. I'm sorry. How dare you? <laughs> like, look, seriously, my, my thing went... <laughs> <laughs> Who's playing the keyboard terribly? <laughs> <laughs> Golly. <clears throat> this is... This black thing has got to be that doggy, right? Up until this point, I thought the murder took place inside the prison. But it, it appears I was mistaken. The place where Knightley was attacked was... Uh, the holding cell. Because that's where we are, right? Mm-hmm. So it has to, I mean, it has to be, I mean, that's what we just saw, so it makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was the, the detention center. And furthermore, he was attacked by Dogen's dog. This is the decisive evidence. What the hell's that thing on the left there? Is that the portable VHS player? Yep. What year is this game again? 2020 something? <laughs> yep. Okay. That's what they thought the future would be. Oh, yeah. the glare, the glorious future. Thank God it's not what it is. Yes, thank God. <clears throat> if Nightly was killed in this room, then this piece of evidence we found in the cell takes on a new meaning. Which piece of evidence takes on a new meaning if the murder occurred in a holding cell? Um, oh shoot, we probably should have looked at that before. Probably, 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 yeah. Probably, probably, probably. 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 Uh, so it said, which piece of evidence takes up a new meaning if the murder occurred in a holding cell? Hmm, huh. well, there is... Probably the wiped floor? Uh, that's what I was kind of thinking. It's like, why was it wiped? We just know it was like, wiped, so it doesn't make any sense as to why. This... Yeah, I want to say that. Let's go, let's go for it. Take that. For some reason, someone wiped the floor clean. It's possible that they were wiping away bloodstains. 
<gasps> oh. Move it all. Move it all. Move it all. Oh, great. Thank you for your hard work. While I have your attention, may I ask for one more favor? Uh, what would that be? There should be a detective by the name of Dick Gumshoe in the, in the detention center or, or that or the prison. I would like you to give him a message. I thought I said massage for a second. That would have been weird. <laughs> no, that's my job. <laughs> Tell him to check this room for traces of blood and give me the results of, uh, to me. Yes, sir! Okay, wipe clean inside the victim's cell. Forensics uh, has, have been asked to look for traces of blood. Blood. Alright. This should corner that old coot. <laughs> I almost said another word. Was it accident. was it the same word I was thinking of? Yes. I would have died laughing. If you said it, I I would not ever let you down. I know or, you wouldn't. That was. That sounds like. Mm. <sighs> okay. Mm. No. Not yet. <laughs> we still don't know how Knightley and the dog moved from here to the prison. That's true. But once we figure that out, where should we check out next, Mr. Edgeworth? The guards here might know something about the murder. Let's see if we can learn any new details from them. Okay. I, mean, I know it's an Ace Attorney staple to do like these times and ever, but we were literally just like what two minutes past? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <sighs> yes. It's my sister's birthday, March twenty eighth. Yay! Which is tomorrow. Yay! Oh, that's kind of creepy. What, me? No, no. <laughs> the fact that it, the game is like... Oh. <laughs> when we're recording it, it's like, It's happening! <laughs> it's happening in real life! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's hit the center hallway. Alright! Let's continue our... Ah! <gasps> hey! Ah! Oh. Sorry to intrude. Well, if it isn't Mr. Prosecutor and the little lady, fancy meeting you here. Mm, no, I can take a ride. Okay. Through. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, I was like, mm, yeah, because this kind of is rough on you, your voice, because you gotta be all suave and sexy. You act like I don't do that 24-7, what you talking about? <laughs> 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 Sometimes you just gotta laugh at yourself, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh. <coughs> this man is Shi Long Lang, an Interpol agent. About two weeks ago, he was in charge of investigating one of my cases. I would have thought he'd return to his native country by Zheng Fav by now. Agent Lang, what brings you here? Uh, just some boring work. Nothing you need to work. Nothing you need to know about. <laughs> On top of a black dog, we have met. Well, we meet a black wolf. Huh? You came alone today, Agent Lang? Usually, he'd have a huge police force with him. I thought he was actually talking about shit on, it's like... That's what I thought first, too, but I'm like, oh wait, she was there, though. <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, seems you've been busy these past few days. These past few days? Is he referring to the incident with the Zengfab president? I would have thought you'd be involved in his security, too. Ah, <laughs> our president doesn't even trust his own country's police force. Look at the results of the hiring a private security company. It's laughable. Agent Lang doesn't trust the prosecutors or the courts. That's why he brings along a large force of capable policemen to thoroughly investigate the crime scene. Yes, if you and your subordinates had been there, the results might have been different. My subordinates, huh? They're no longer with me. What? They're not with you? Funny. Looks like I'm a real lone wolf now. <laughs> uh, Agent Lang, just what happened exactly? Didn't I tell you? It's nothing you need to know about. Well, be seeing you, Mr. Prosecutor. Bye. 
Mr. Lane, I wonder what happened. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, See, yes. This, is, this is the part right now. I'll, I'll, I'll take over for a little bit. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Yes, it troubles me too, but there's nothing we can do about it for now. Okay, let's continue with our own investigation. Got it. First, let's ask those guards a few questions. All right. Yeah, so it seems like whenever it's just Kay and Edgeworth, will you be Edgeworth and I'll be Kay. But if there's, like, you know, more than one male, then I'll take over for Edgeworth. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so the one on the, the guard on the left by the lockers. Kay. Sir? Did you want to do the guard one, then? No, no, I'll, yeah, I'll do, do it. it. You, you, you do Edgeworth, I'll do the guard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Huh. Hmm. These are the guards' lockers. Oh. I bet they keep their uniform. Wait, wait, wait. What? Oh, did you actually click on the lockers themselves? Oh, no. Really? I I'm talking to the guard right now. Oh, I guess it. Oh, I guess I am. Oh, well, go ahead. I mean to. Why snacks? If it were me, I'd definitely put snacks in there. I don't know where you get that air conference. Okay, I guess I was. Okay, you can go ahead. <laughs> You're good. Hmm. This is a difficult case. What's wrong? Is something troubling you? Sir, uh, one of my uniforms has gone missing. But I'm certain that I placed it in this locker. Maybe the uniform grew legs and walked off somewhere. What kind of logic is that? In any case, I wish you the best in your search. I'll be rooting for you. Yes, thank you for your support. Okay, so I'm guessing somebody pretended to be a guard. That's what it seems like. Stolen from a locker in the detention center hallway on March 26. Okay. Huh. And he still can't find it, so. Nope. Alright, the guy on the right. Yep. You there. Have you seen a black dog around here? Oh, of course not. If I had actually seen it, I wouldn't be standing around here so carefree. Um, did something happen with that doggy? Okay, let's not press this matter any further. Hmm. So Dogen's dog didn't come by the detention center. Oh, this is probably the warden. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh no. Raymond, you just have a really weird voice range today. <laughs> Up there, to the objection. That's like objection. That's like oh, woo. woo. All right. <clears throat> That's you, right? Oh, Mr. Yeah, sorry. Oh, there you Part. go. Mr. Shield, where did you go? Where indeed? I've been searching for you guys this whole time. Walking all around the prison is hard work, you know. That's strange, seeing as you came from the opposite direction. <laughs> I've got some new information. You want to hear it? Do you? You sure changed the subject quickly. I heard a little something from the guards. It seems Knightley caused a bit of an incident two days ago. An incident? You know how Simon said he came to visit Knightley, right? After the visit, when Knightley returned to his cell... Well, naturally, a guard uh, uh, escorted Knightley back to his cell. While the guard was unlocking his handcuffs, all of a sudden, Knightley struck the guard and knocked him out. Uh-oh. It seems he was going to attempt a jailbreak. By the time the other guards arrived, the key to his cell had disappeared. But there's n yeah. But there's been no reports of Knightley's jailbreak attempt two days ago. Exactly. It's strange, isn't it? Right up until his death, he was still in his cell. What's more, Knightley claimed he never stole the key in the first place. In fact, they searched his cell and the key was nowhere to be found. Did the guard who was struck have anything to say? No one knows. He was taken to the hospital while he was still un unconscious. He's still there now, it seems. So, in the end, we still don't know what happened. Okay... This is odd. It's you. It's you! I don't know. Hmm, that voice. Is it the warden? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, all. dang it. <laughs> the music is derpy. It is. What are you still doing hanging around here? Uh, well, you see, this is my assistant. 
Are you here to object our investigation and make me into a laughing stock? Sebastian, I believe obstruct is the word you're looking for. In a way, I think his expression was apt. A pleasure meeting you again, Judge Courtney. I am. I know. You are Simon Key's defense attorney, are you not? Well then, let's skip the formalities and celebrate our happy reunion with a hug. Or maybe not. Incidentally, I heard you mention an assistant a moment ago. Yeah! We're assistants at the Edgeworth Law Offices! Prosecutors are civil servants. To open a side business is to betray the goddess of law. As long as profit is not our objective, there shouldn't be a problem, right? Y yeah, that's it! Miles here's a volunteer worker! The purpose of my office isn't to make money. We're pro bono! What a wonderful heart you have, defending others without demanding payment. Uh, <laughs> I do have an amazing charitable heart. More importantly, I'd like you to explain your reasons for arresting Simon Keys. There's no need to. Uh, Is that a challenge against me? Oh my gosh, you douchebag. Uh, no, I, I was speaking with Judge Courtney. I guess it can't be helped. If you want to take on the best, you'll fall like the rest. I haven't said anything yet, but this is convenient. Then I will hear you out. What were your reasons for arresting Mr. Keyes? I see no need to inform you. Sebastian, let us... <laughs> just watch, Justine. Ju watch as I run around in circles against this useless prosecutor. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. <clears throat> I think you mean run circles around me. Yeah, that's what I meant. Prepare yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, oh snap. Reasons for... <clears throat> yeah. Right. He even plays the derpy music. <laughs> Oh, during it? Oh my god, it does. Alright. <clears throat> this is gonna oh, be great. great. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you wanna know my reasons for arresting that man? The answer's simple. Yes! We found traces of that guy over there. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? Did what I kind know? of traces? I don't wanna know. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> What are we doing? You'll never know. <laughs> How's that? Perfectly simple. Perfectly decisive. Right? Of course. I was the first to notice it because I'm the best. More like the pest. How am I supposed to go on pressing about that? About pressing that? Wow. Words are hard. Eh, it's okay. How's that? Got nothing to say? Speechless, speechless in my presence? <sighs> this guy sure talks a lot. So, you're the one who arrested Mr. Keys, I take it. Uh, Mr. DeBest, do you have a, the right to do such a thing? Well, obviously it was the police who carried out the arrest. But, since it was under my direction, shouldn't it also count as my arrest? As I expected. It'd be difficult to deal with both of them at the same time. However... Her silence is troubling me. Just what is she thinking? Would you ever get a haircut like that of Justine's? Nope. All right. <laughs> so. I don't like her haircut. I mean, it's cute on her, but I can I can rock that. All right. Okay, so um, he said, "How can we press?" So I'm guessing we may have to present. And what sticks out to me is the second um. Okay, the second uh, statement. The answer is simple. Yes, we found traces of that guy over there. I've, maybe we should press on that because I don't know what guy he's talking about. All right. Press. That guy over there? That's certainly vague. Well, don't they say 
The best hears one thing and understands ten? You're just being lazy. Explain it more clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Calls him out his BS right away. He, he totally is. Sebastian, if it's alright with you, would you please explain it to them in more detail? I'm sure that everyone wants to hear what you have to say. Hmm. Alright, if you insist, Justine, we discovered that. Perhaps you didn't know, but the victim carried a chessboard with him. From it, we found that suspect guy's, uh, I mean, Simon Key's fingerprints. Well done, Sebastian. I bless you on behalf of the goddess of law. Please amend your testimony. Are you alright with that, Prosecutor Edgeworth? Yes. The victim carried a chessboard. From it, we found Simon Key's fingerprints. Okay. Hold on. Chessboard. Simon brought it to him as his request. Well, that's why. So I'm like, should we present the chessboard on there? That statement? Why not? It gives it gives us a reasoning as to why his fingerprints are on it. Yeah. So I mean, it can't be them. Well, we'll see. But. Oh, uh, yeah, and present. Yes. The music stopped. That's a good sign. Good. You good. did it! <laughs> <laughs> Fingerprints found on the chessboard. Is that the ace up your sleeve? Ace of my sleeve? The heck? What the hell? Oh! Ace up my sleeve? Oh, ace in my sleeve. Man, this guy, he's messing up my wording, too. <laughs> yeah! Okay. Yes! The methods I use are always the best! This ace is my trump card! Well then, allow me to show you that it is not, in fact, a trump card at all. Simon Keys was the one who sent the chessboard to the victim in the first place. So, it's only natural some of his fingerprints would be left on it. Uh? <laughs> Looks so derpy. <laughs> that took way too long. <laughs> <laughs> These fingerprints are hardly decisive evidence. Perhaps your arrest was a little too rash? Rash! To begin with, this incident occurred in the detention center and the prison. To suspect Simon just because he isn't a prisoner or a guard is a little unreasonable. Ah! What? What's with him all of a sudden? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I apologize. <laughs> I just apologize. I don't know what the hell was that. I finally get what you're trying to say! Rash! You mean we were too quick to arrest the guy, right? <laughs> he was stuck on that?! Well, sure! I was the first to lay eyes on him! <laughs> and I was the first to notice the evidence! That was even faster! But I am not rash! Sure, Simon Keys isn't a guard or a prisoner, but... Sebastian? Judge Courtney? What are you doing, Justine? Don't butt in like that! Pardon me, Sebastian. Yes, your words on the suspect are very interesting. However, shouldn't you get to the best part first? The best part? Why don't you tell them about your wonderful reasoning regarding the murder weapon? Good one, Justine! Nice suggestion! Mr. Edgeworth, listen to my first-rate reasoning! Objection! Will this reasoning explain why you arrested Mr. Keys? I'm sure it will meet your expectations. Judge Courtney just changed the flow of the conversation. Just what is she planning? Okay, more testimony! Yay, mur mur murder what? I almost said Moida's weapons. <laughs> Moida! Moida weapon location! Oh. Alright, let's do this. It's obvious the murder weapon is a sharp metal object. However, the prison maintains strict control over potentially lethal items. So, that's why I've reasoned that the murder weapon was brought in from the outside. Yes! It was hidden inside that chessboard! And since only the victim and the suspect's fingerprints were found on the chessboard, isn't it obvious who brought and used the murder weapon? 
At least it's clearer than his last testimony. It's the best reason you can get from Prosecutor the best. How do you like that? Now he's mixing up the best with his own name. But could someone really hide a weapon inside a gift sent to a prisoner? <laughs> You'll find a good place if you examine the inside of the chessboard. Inside the chessboard? Is there some place to hide a weapon? Hold up, is there? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, okay. Uh. Examine. Cuckoo? As I thought, there are only chess pieces inside. <laughs> wow, what an annoying laugh. Inside the chessboard, huh? Perhaps I should examine it a bit further. Uh, zoom in! Oh, I guess the green part up top? Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh! Uh-oh. This is... The top panel is removable. It's quite deep. Yes, there's more than enough... There's more than enough room to hide a small knife. Understand now? This is how the culprit smuggled in the... Objection! Hmm. Hmm! What's with the hmm? I wasn't even finished! <laughs> Mr. DeBest, there is something you have forgotten. There's a gate at the entrance of the detention center. Eh? Well, there is, but... He means the security gates with the metal detector, Sebastian. We had to pass through the same check when we entered the prison, remember? Ah! Ah! Yeah, that's it! I remember now! Wait, I just realized his little ponytail at the top is like a question mark. And then, like, when he's like, ah, it's an exclamation mark. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. <laughs> he's so stupid. Okay. It looks like he completely forgot. It would be impossible to smuggle a sharp metal object into the, into the detention center. Therefore, your reasoning never held, even from the very beginning. Overruled. Did you just cut me off? <laughs> <laughs> that gate is only used on people. In other words, packages sent to the detention center undergo a simpler check. So they don't use a metal detector for that? This never should have happened. It seems the guards were too careless. Okay. Huh. So, located the checks for metal objects. So it's just on the person rather than like putting it through like a belt and it has a little x-ray machine. I mean, it's kind of stupid, but... Yeah, it's like, why wouldn't you... Okay. Whatever. <clears throat> You're right, Justine. Thanks for the assist. You're welcome. Now then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, your cross-examination, if you please. Cross-examination. It's as if we're in the courtroom. Very well, his reasoning. Let's see how long it will be. Oh, oh, let's see how long it will hold up under pressure. Breaking down on me, breaking down on you. You're in. A oh, you having fun there? Yeah, kind of. I always thought he was saying you're an a-hole whenever he sings that song. Mm, I, I can. I guess I can see that. Yeah. But I think that'll do it for this episode. In the next episode, we will cross-examine DeBess's um, murder weapons location testimony and hopefully debunk that too because... Is it? Oh. What? I was trying to say he's an a-hole. Oh, like, I, I just thought you cut off. I'm like, oh, man. I was like, it's... I cut myself off so I wouldn't say the word. Uh, but, oh, oh. Yeah. you can say ass. <laughs> like, I I'll, I'll help you. Ass. Hole. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh. He's in Ass. Hole. There, there you go. See? Now you there now you, you now you said it. How dare you? <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> so thank you guys so very much for watching. And if no one's told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.